The Smithsonian Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C. is open to visitors after its dedication ceremony last weekend. It connects the artifacts and the images of the past to the realities of the present. And one of the museum's most anticipated exhibits is a casket that carried the body of a 14-year-old boy 61 years ago. It is so sacred that visitors are not allowed to take videos or pictures. You have to go see it in person. Michelle Miller shows us a story behind the casket's place in history. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. Well, it was 1955. The U.S. Supreme Court had outlawed legal segregation the year before, yet blacks were still living under a reign of terror. That same year, a teenage boy became the latest victim of it. His story may have been lost to history if not for his mother's decision to expose his brutal death. We warn you, these images can be hard to watch. Before the protests in Charlotte and Ferguson, or the chance of Black Lives Matter, there was the story of Emmett Till. It started when the 14-year-old walked into a Mississippi general store with his cousins. Emmett said nothing out of line. Mrs. Bryant came out behind us. For some reason, Emmett whistled at her. What whistle? Why did he do that? <sighs> I tell people, I say, I think he wanted us to laugh. Mm -hmm. Police found Emmett's body floating in a river seven days later, so badly beaten, his mother, Mamie Till Mobley, could barely identify him. I saw his tongue had been choked out and it was lying down on his chin. A young filmmaker named Keith Beauchamp interviewed her 16 tongue. years ago, shortly before her death. This eye was out and it was lying about midway the cheek. And I discovered a hole. I said, now, was it necessary to shoot him? I said, I want the world to see this because there's no way I could tell this story and give them the visual picture of what my son looked like. In the midst of grief, disbelief, and horror, Mobley made the decision to expose her only child to the world. These photos of his body in an open casket were published in the black press. It's unbelievable that someone can do that to another human being. It's just put in your mind how evil those people were. Those black people in the Deep South, this was finally testimony to what they endured. Michael it Eric Dyson is a Georgetown say, no, University no, 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 sociology no, no, no. professor. It was meant to make them stay in their places. Instead, it ignited a movement. Rosa Parks said it was Till's face she saw when refusing to give up her seat on an Alabama bus. Martin Luther King Jr. summoned his memory during the Montgomery bus boycott. This one image conjured the pain, the, the, the acrimony of lynching, and showed to America, this is what you do to us. This is evil. The essence of justice is truth, and you cannot have justice without truth. Filmmaker Keith Beauchamp has spent the last 25 years on a quest for both, unearthing new details about Till's death that he's revealing in an upcoming feature film, his chance to finally tell the complete story. When you see that photo and you juxtapose it against the video of Rodney King, Alton Sterling and Philando Castile, Tamir Rice. Does it still have the same impact? There's no other story in civil rights history that would speak to this generation than the story of Emmett Till. No one was ever convicted of Till's murder, but his mother believes his legacy has become his justice. It took something to stir people up and let them know that we're either going to stand together or we're going to fall together. And that filmmaker's reporting led the FBI to reopen this case. In 2005, Till's body was exhumed, but his casket left forgotten until a family member found it and then donated it to the museum. Yeah, and they don't allow photographs there out of respect for the family. But you go and you can sit and see the casket. It's smaller than you might think. People are literally there weeping. There's a, his pictures in the casket that you can barely see, and people sit there and weep just being in the same room. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you.